Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're baking with TikTok. So my first video of cooking with TikTok was such a huge success, you guys, that I decided to do a baking with TikTok. With wearing the same clothes. I, I didn't just film the first video. Let's begin. So today we are gonna be making a church cake. I don't really know what a church cake is though. Um, that's what she calls it, a church cake. I went to church, there was no cake. They just gave you wine. That's it. I would have gone more if there was cake. What is church cake? What is church cake? I literally put what is church cake? Anyways, so as I did previously, um, we're gonna watch the TikTok video first so you guys can see what I'm supposed to be doing and then I'm gonna replicate it exactly how they did it and see if it really is delicious. So let's try it. So the video is brought to you by the Bale Sky. No, Bally Sky. The, 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 no, it's, it, it's not Bale. Bali? Bali. The Bale Sky. Whatever. Let's just watch her make her church cake. And I now present the world's simplest and most delicious church dessert. But is it really delicious? Let's Oh, she calls it church dessert. I now present the world's simplest and most delicious church dessert. But is it really delicious? Let's see. Get a pan, really any pan with side, and get one can of cherry pie filling. That's right, folks. Good old gooey cherry pie filling. And throw it in your pan. Next, get a can of crushed pineapple and kind of drain it and throw that too in your pan, like so. Now add a touch of salt and a ploof of cinnamon. I don't know how much a ploof is, figure it out. Then combine it together, like so. Artfully done if I tell you myself. Now get classic yellow cake mix. Open the package and sprinkle on top evenly. Yes, the whole thing. Spread it out and pat it down. Do not mix, do not tempt to mix. Now get butter, slice it thin and place it on your cake. Very low calorie, I assure you. That was two sticks. Now bake your masterpiece at 350 for 40 minutes. Ooh, perfectly baked and it's crispy. Now scoop some out, get some ice cream and you have, oh yeah, that's good. Something delicious. Right? That looked good. So let's try to make that, all right? And hopefully it is good. Not like that ramen thing. It was good, but oh my God, it's so super salty. Okay, so let's preheat. She didn't preheat, but because she only has 60 seconds. So preheat, 350. Bake, 350. Do I have anything in here? No, no I don't. All right, so I got my pan. I got the cherry fill. She didn't say the size of the can, so. We'll see. Got my can. I don't know if I have nails and I can't do it, guys. Ugh. Oh yeah, you should always wash the top of your cans because like, they keep them in warehouses and then rats will poo and then, so if your lid falls inside, then you just got rat poo. I never clean them, but I heard you should. So, okay. And this is so hard. I guess this recipe is not good if you don't like cherries. I love cherries, so. Sploosh. Oh, it's splooshed. Oh my God. Can crush the pineapples. Now she kind of drains it, but like, it's crushed. How can you drain this? Oh, I drained it. All right, so I kind of drained it. Yeah. Whoa, that just came out. All right, and let's stir it. Oh wait, no, she put, um, look at me, not even watching it again. All right, she put a little bit of salt Oh, I'm really bad at like telling how much salt unless you tell me. All right. I also should have washed my hands before doing this. And then she said she used a sploosh of 
this of uh, cinnamon but she used like a whole like lid did you guys see her like throw the lid in there so I'm gonna throw like a bunch all right oh did she use flour okay she didn't use flour I don't know where I got the flour from in my head but I took out flour I have enough to put it back okay All right, so mine kind of looks less brown than hers, but maybe I put too much cinnamon. All right, all right. Now the yellow mix. I got Pillsbury Doughboy yellow mix. All right, and she's adamant about dough mix. That seems like a lot. I need to use this, but uh, go ahead and pat it. Not mix. She's very adamant about that. All right, I'm gonna put all in the corners. Maybe my pan should have been bigger, but her pan wasn't big either. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Look how good that looks. <laughs> all right, it's better. Now she says two sticks of butter. This is how much butter I have. So I'm going to use, um, I have butter, but it's in a bucket, like the bucket spreadable ones. So I'm gonna try to use some of that too. All right, where's my knife? All right. She thinly slices it too. Thin slices. Thin slices. I didn't. I tried to put one little scoop of the other butter, and can you tell where it is? So it's already a lot of butter, guys. <laughs> like, and it's pretty much the whole recipe of butter. So I'm not gonna put any more butter. This is a lot of butter. So there it is. And the oven just went off. And my lighting's weird. Let's back it up. Uh, so I'm gonna put it in. Huh? How long did she say to put it in for? Let's put it in. Ah. I pushed it in. My screams pushed it in. At 350, 40 minutes. 40, 40 minutes? I have to wait 40 minutes? 40 minutes then. Clock. It already smells so good. Guys, I am so excited. This is why I'm so bad. I don't care. It's so good. Okay, 40 minutes. See you then. I'm just gonna turn this off. It beeped. Let's get out my mittens that are super dirty. You know, it just beeped. I don't know if I was supposed to wait until like it stops bubbling, but she didn't say. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's so good. It's still bubbling, guys. That was a mistake. All right. This is how it looks. Oh shit. It's really squishy. I can't show you guys. Okay. I think I should let it sit there because it's still boiling. Oh my god, you could tell where it was butter and where it was like the schmear. Because it's still like squishy. So we're just gonna let it sit there then for like 10 minutes. So it's been sitting here for like 10 minutes. I have my favorite um, ice cream mug with vanilla ice cream. Now hers, she tapped it and it was nice and golden, like hard. Mine not so, mine like is hard some places here, hear that? But some other places it's like soft. So 
I don't know if I should have left it like longer because she only said 40 minutes and that's what I did so maybe if I do it next time I'll put it like for 50 minutes or something all right let's test it next time. This is how it looks. Now she put it in, and then she put the ice cream on top. But, you know, I like to put my own spin on it. All right, guys, let's taste it. A little bit of ice cream. Taste it. It's almost like, like the cake isn't cooked enough. I'm pretty sure that cake is still raw. Yeah, that's raw cake. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back in the oven but besides that this is delicious you guys it's so good and there you have it guys I made my very first church dessert church cake whatever it is this is delicious so you guys should really try it out because that was amazing balls hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe and yeah that's it